So you wanna use AI to help you with your coding. I'm gonna talk about three different ways that you can do that. I'm gonna do a deep dive on one of them in this tutorial, I'll do others soon. My name is Greg Martin, let's jump into this boom shakalaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. Is the fact that language models can write code for you an excuse not to learn how to code? And of course the answer is no. The more code you know and understand, the better you'll be able to engage with and work with these language models. So the three ways that you can get AI to help you with your code are, number one, you can go to a web page like Claude or ChatGPT, ask it to write some code, cut and paste the code into RStudio, run it, boom shakalaka, there you go. The second is there's Copilot in, in RStudio and that connects with GitHub and it'll auto complete code for you. It's reasonably good. I don't like it. I'm going to talk about that in another video. And then the final way, which I'm going to talk about in this video, is you can install packages like Chat R and it'll actually open up a little chat window that you can see on the screen below me right now. And you can ask questions and ask it to write code, etc., etc., and cut and paste that into your console and run it. And it's reasonably good. We're going to talk about that today, but I'm also going to talk about sort of best practices and how you should engage with these language models to get the most out of them. Let's jump right into the Chat R package. I'm going to show you how it works, show you how to install it, everything you need to know. Let's do this. Boom shakalaka. Let's look at an example of using Chat R, right? So we've got this little prompt box at the bottom here, um, and I'm going to talk you through exactly how to get all of this in place so nobody panic. And here you can just type in a question. Now it doesn't have to be asking for a question where it generates code. You can actually just ask it any kind of question the same way that you would uh, typing into a prompt at ChatGPT on a web page. So I could type in, please tell me what data set would be best for illustrating the use of ggplot and I'll push submit. And it gives a little answer, MPG data set uh, from ggplot package is commonly used, blah, 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 blah. So that's nice. The nice thing about having a chat box like that is you can ask it about errors, you can cut and paste problems into that chat box, ask it anything you want, uh, maybe even ask it about the best approach that you might wanna use to analyze a particular kind of data. And of course you can ask it to write you some code, so let's do that. Okay, we've got uh, write some code using the MPG data to show us how to use ggplot and I'll push submit. And now of course we can just go, we can cut and paste that code and stick it into our studio. Boom shakalaka, we've got some code. I'm not gonna run it, you can see where this is going. All right, so the first few steps are pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. We want to install packages chat R, so that's C-H-A-T-T-R, you install the package, library, chat, R, boom, shakalaka, it's now on your computer. At that point, you still don't have access to the little chat box. 